We arrived back in Toronto after our beautiful snowy trip to Niagara Falls and checked into the last hotel. This was easily the worst hotel, but hey, we're here for the sights, and they definitely didn't disappoint. This side of Toronto was cool because you could see the CN Tower from basically everywhere. I would know because Brooke took photos of it from basically every angle. If the first hotel felt like it was in Times Square, this one felt like downtown Chicago, with the CN Tower in place of the Willis Tower or whatever they're calling it these days. The rest of this day was basically just devoted to sightseeing, as we wandered the city a bit until we got to our first stop, Steam Whistle Brewery. This place was in the middle of a park with a defunct railroad and its own water tower. It had a really cool aesthetic that was honestly improved by the snow on the ground, and that aesthetic continued inside. And the beer was pretty good too, though sadly they didn't have enough variety to justify offering flights, so I just got one large glass. But seriously, 20 ounce beers need to be more common. Way better than fight. We were very lucky to make our way toward the harbor as the sun was setting, creating a really beautiful backdrop for our next stop, Amsterdam Brewhouse. But first, we got distracted by the cool sights at the pier, which was also one of the best views of the skyline. We would have taken in the sights more, but as the sun fell, so did the temperature, so we rushed into the brew house to warm up with another tasty flight. Mm. That's actually really good. This place was also really cool inside. Probably my favorite brewery in the city. And their beer variety was excellent. I struggled to narrow it down for my flight. Places like this really made me sad I couldn't bring alcohol back to the States because I would have definitely supported them more. After a morning in Niagara, a two hour bus ride back to Toronto, and then walking around all afternoon and evening, we were ready to get back to the hotel and relax. And conveniently, this was the day Disney Plus had launched, and the TV in the room sucked, so we ended the night by settling in and starting our Star Wars movie marathon leading up to Episode 9. Episode 1 isn't that bad, by the way. Please don't click off this video, though. There's still more fun to come, and very little of it is Disney shilling. Another morning, another trip to Tim Hortons. It's still good, by the way. After breakfast, we wandered the city again on the way to St. Lawrence Market. This was another really cool area full of international shops. It also sucked that we couldn't buy anything because there was some really good prices on meat, cheese, condiments, etc. that we'd definitely take advantage of if we lived there. Maybe we'll visit again and rent an Airbnb to be able to cook more and try this stuff. But it was still kind of painful to have to pass up all the delicious smells. We continued on to the distillery district, named for all the distilleries that apparently used to be there but now it's mostly cool sites and art studios. They were also setting up a bunch of Christmas decorations here since the holiday festival was starting soon after we leave, obviously. It's Ireland all over again. They were setting up for a holiday market set to open the day after we left. Figures. After enjoying the artistic sites here, we stopped into the one brewery we found. <laughs> Close enough, Distillery District. It was pretty cool in there, and they also had a great beer variety, including some more unconventional options, like a Neapolitan stout. Music choices, though, were more divisive. We went a little out of the way into a fairly undeveloped section of the city for the next bar, but they also had a fantastic chicken wing and beer lunch special, so it was worth it. Tasty wings, too. On the way to the final brewery of the day, we stopped back into the St. Lawrence Market so Brooke could get a very Canadian souvenir. I think it changed her, honestly. We ended our brewery tour with Goose Island, which I know is a Chicago brewery, but they have a great Toronto location with exclusive beers on tap and a really fun bartender that's apparently also a stand-up comedian, so it was still a really fun time. The stout I got was pretty strong though, and I guess that was the tipping point for me because we got back to the hotel 
and I don't totally remember the next few bits. It actually came apart really easily. This is how you meant to eat it. Is it? No. Is that cheesecake good after multiple beers? I it'll be better. After a quick snack, it was apparently nap time. And then we made plans to meet up with my friend Magic Zenith again for dinner. We met him at Union Station and took the scenic route to dinner, passing by the CN Tower entrance that looked really pretty with the snow falling again, and then continued onward through the city to a restaurant slash bowling alley called The Ballroom. Once again, this place looked really cool, but was also pretty high class and packed, so we put our names in for bowling and went upstairs to eat. We ended up missing our bowling reservation and didn't want to wait another hour to try again, so we played pool instead, which I was totally okay with because I like pool more anyway. It was a fun yet low-key way to end our trip, and it might not be the most visually pleasing for a video, but we enjoyed ourselves all the same. The camera comes on and everyone forgets how to play pool. <laughs> Just sexy time. After a few games, Zenith navigated us back to our hotel and then joined us for trying and ranking various Canadian snacks, some of which Zen hadn't tried either. Ew! What is that? It <laughs> so gross! What is that? Ew! It's Turkish Delight! Ew, ew! This is the thing that... What's his face from, um... From, um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Robot? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that classic movie, yes. The Lion, the Witch, and the Robot. <laughs> you know, a wardrobe, like, gave away his siblings for it. Ew, I can't even, I'm gonna buy it. It's gummy. Ew! Covered in chocolate. Ew! I didn't want to spoil it for you. Ew! Oh, it's <laughs> awful. After that, we said goodbye and went to sleep. Because there was another busy travel day first thing in the morning. We headed back down to Union Station in the morning to catch a train to the Toronto airport. We had another two flights to home, but this time with a much snowier view from the plane. It was a pretty quick, easy set of flights, so we mostly just spent it looking over all the footage on our phones and reminiscing back on the trip. Well, technically we watched more stuff on Disney+, Plus, but I shielded that enough earlier, so instead let me use this as a segue to a musical montage. Open up your eyes, the sky will tell you what there is to see Let's wake up in a brand new place, shake up everything we believe Is it possible it's more beautiful than we dream? Is it possible it was alright here this whole time? Can't call home, let me show you 
it was a truly amazing trip with great friends, but by the time we were done traveling, I was more than ready to get home and see our kitties again. Though surprisingly, they weren't as ready to see us. It was still good to be home, though. You're cute. I'm good. You're- <laughs> I went with the cheesecake. <laughs> no response to you being cute? No. Okay. 